Okay, so let me start today's my talk. What can WebAssembly do for your application security and extensibility? I'm Takaya Saiki from Tetoy.io Inc. And today's my topic, uh, sorry, today's my talk has two topics. So the first topic is why WebAssembly is gaining presence in the cloud native world. And the second topic is the impact of WebAssembly on application extensibility and security. So before getting started, let me introduce about myself and Titoet a little. Uh, I'm Taka Asaiki, a software engineer at Titoet Tayo from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I love programming, uh, and here's the list of my favorite projects. And uh, about Titoet, uh, Titoet is a service mesh company. We are making the application aware networking. And uh, Titoet is also a big OSS contributor. Um, Tetroid is one of the top Android computer contributors in the world. Tetroid is the biggest contributor to Android after Google. And uh, Tetroid is also one of the top Easter contributors in the world. Okay, let me get down to the main topic. So, WebAssembly has many applications in the cloud native world today. So here I pasted the schedule of today's WebAssembly day. As you can see, there are many applications of WebAssembly. Uh, for example, WASI or uh, uh, Edge Cloud Computing with WebAssembly and the proxy version, or Cloud Native Runtime for Server Expansion with WebAssembly, or uh, so on and so on. So why WebAssembly is gaining presence in the Cloud Native world? To reflect on that, uh, let's get back to the basic property of WebAssembly. So WebAssembly is safe, portable, and low-level binary instruction format. And the its design spec lists certain design goals. For example, fast, safe, open, and language independent, and portable, and much more. And in today's talk, I want to focus on those two, uh, sorry, those four properties. So safe, open, language independent, and portable. So WebAssembly has those four properties. So WebAssembly is safe. WebAssembly can safely run untrusted codes in the sandbox environment. And the WebAssembly is open. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, let me call this open property as embeddable property sometimes for, for to make it easier to understand what, the, what open does mean. And uh, it means WebAssembly has customizable interface with external environment. For example, WebAssembly has uh, external environments such as a WASI, uh, where WebAssembly can run on abstracted operating system platform or proxy version. In proxy version, WebAssembly module communicate with external proxy applications to manipulate or handle uh, traffic such as HTTP or UDP traffic, or TCP, of course. And uh, WebAssembly is portable. It's architecture independent, and it's polyglot. Uh, WebAssembly can be compiled for many programming languages. However, uh, if you think about each properties, Actually, there are other great solutions for similar goals. So for example, NACU is a Google's great software fault isolation solution. Uh, it's safe, embeddable, and polyglot. It runs untrusted calls uh, as by some software fault isolation technique, but it lacks portability because NACU is based on the native binary. And the uh, ABPF is safe, embeddable, and portable program mainly for kernel. But because it's language, it's not polyglot, of course. And uh, Lua is prominent embeddable script language, but it's not polyglot either. And native library format, native library formats is, uh, of course, embeddable. But because it's native library, it has no safety and portability. And Java is a great language that runs anywhere, but isolation is not Java's first class system. So existing solutions uh, have similar goals, but none of them satisfies all the goals at the same time. However, 
WebAssembly is a new solution which aims to meet those goals simultaneously. So this diagram shows the positioning of WebAssembly. As you can see, a WebAssembly is open, and portable, and safe, and polygon at the same time. So it wasn't realized multiple goals that were not covered simultaneously before. And as you can see, other, other existing solutions lack some aspects of those properties. For example, a native library is open and polyglot, but it's not portable, not safe. And uh, Lua is portable, safe, and open, but because its language, Lua is not polyglot. In other words, a WebAssembly is as portable as Java, and the WebAssembly is as safe as Nago or SecComp, and as endable as Lua, and uh, as polyglot as native library. So that's the uh, strength of WebAssembly, is and uh, why WebAssembly is gaining presence in the cloud native world. And uh, because fast, uh, because being fast is uh, a basic property of WebAssembly, of course, uh, if you put a fast property in the diagram, this, the diagram will look like this. So that's why WebAssembly is gaining presence in the cloud native world. So let me talk about its impact on extensibility and security interest. So because what is an object format just like F, uh, what WebAssembly module can actually do is defined by external WASM embedding interface. So WASM embedding interface defines functions and other symbols that the WASM module imports and exports. Uh, this gives rise to a variety of actual interfaces for WASM. And uh, I pick up two examples here. It's proxy WASM and WASI. Uh, I pick up this example because I think these two examples are very fundamental example of what embedding interfaces. So, and uh, today I focus on proxy wasm because it's an embedded interface. So, what, why WebAssembly and why embedded WebAssembly in some application is important? It's because a WebAssembly can provide secure extensibility mechanisms for applications. So application and WASM modules communicate through bidirectional API and API. And uh, thanks to WASM, users of an application can make extensions securely, portably, and in any languages. And uh, proxy WASM is an example of such secure extension mechanism. So proxy WASM is an extensibility interface for proxy servers called by WebAssembly. And the uh, Envoy is a reference implementation of that. It provides secure and portable way to manipulate proxy traffic. And uh, here is how proxy wasm evolved Envoy's extensibility mechanism. So before wasm, uh, Envoy offers static C++ library as its extension mechanism. So it has no isolation, and C++ has the only support language. And the uh, updating extension requires the build. However, uh, after the adoption of WASM, uh, now Envoy extension runs in an isolated environment securely, and it's language independent, and dynamic load of extensions are supported. So, uh, like in that example, uh, WebAssembly brings secure extensibility mechanism to the cloud native applications. And Envoy and it still provides such secure extensibility mechanism for application methods by proxy WASM. You will be able to write your Envoy extension by WASM, for example, custom authorization and custom authentication, logging. So proxy WASM is an important example, future secure extensibility mechanism for by WebAssembly. So here is uh, today's my topic, my talk summary. So the embeddable, safe, polyglot, and portable properties of WASM gives rise to a variety of WASM interfaces. And the secure extensibility mechanism is a typical interface, and such interface, I mean. And the proxy WASM is an extensibility mechanism for proxy. And the WASM will continue to bring new secure extensibility mechanisms to the cloud-native world applications.
Thanks.